Hey guys, I'm here with Tony Lee, an XXX hypnotist. Uh, he is performing tonight in The Wave. We are super excited to have you back at Western. I'm super excited to be here. It's awesome. Yeah? Yeah, I love Western. <laughs> <laughs> have you been here before? I have. I think I've been doing shows here since uh, hmm, 90 sometime. Wow. I think so. We've done a lot of shows here and then we took a few years uh, off. Nothing. We've been back for, for the last couple of years. Awesome. That's great. Um, okay. I have to ask, why did you decide to go into XXX hypnotism? That's a very good question. Uh, uh, you know, well, when I was around, I didn't... Uh, I didn't know what hypnotism was, I didn't believe in hypnotism, and I hypnotized a girlfriend by accident. And I thought, because I didn't believe in it, right, so, so I said, hey, you know, let's, let's, uh, uh, let's see if hypno hypnosis is real. Uh, <laughs> so I did, and she fell over, she's like, wow, this is cool. And I started making do some stuff, so I go, wow, but I've never seen a hypnotist before, and I was managing club at the time, and I thought to myself, well, what would make me laugh? And the stuff that would make me laugh, like, you know, right, you know, I heard, like, other hypnotists going, well, you're riding on a bus, you go over a bump, and, you, you know, the person goes like this, and I go, that's not funny. But make them screw their chairs, that's funny. So I figured, you know, that stuff makes me laugh. I figured make everybody else laugh as well. Yeah, it looks like everyone's laughing in uh, all those YouTube videos that are up. Oh, you know what? Uh, what's funny, there's a... Uh, there, there must be about 10,000 of these videos up. The problem is, as soon as they pick up any traction, as soon as they get over 100,000 views, they get removed. So it's like it's constantly just, just going, going. A lot, a lot of them went viral. But then, you know, <laughs> what ends up happening is somebody, uh, you know, a parent will, will go in and says, Oh, we're going to send Susie to, uh, say, this particular university. And as soon as they type in the university name, my YouTube video pops up. So the university goes, Ah, well, we better take that down. Okay, I do have to say you must have the highest track record for orgasms given you know what that's an interesting thought and uh yeah because you know what i i think we we counted we guesstimated that we probably hypnotized sixty thousand people or so in the last you know 27 years whatever six so six thousand shows multiply by an average 10 people 60,000 people. So, yeah, I made like uh, 60,000 people orgasm, male and female. <laughs> and transgender. Yeah. And uh, do you think they're pretty authentic? <laughs> well, we've, we've had people come back uh, at the end of the show and um, a guy goes, dude, I actually, you know, and I thought to myself, well, it makes sense, right? It's like having a wet dream. So, so it's like, mm. Cool. So they have a big smile on their face, but I, I, yeah, let's go out tonight, but I got to change my underwear. That's why they keep coming back for the orgasms. Literally. That's so funny. Um, so I just got to ask you, how is it that one is able to feel something while being under hypnosis? Um, it's not the same thing as being asleep. It's hyper reality or something? What it is is an alpha state. You know where it's just a relaxed state of mind. Um, say you're driving down the highway and you're going, did I past that turn off and you're not quite sure or when you're daydreaming you go and you give your head a shake and go, man what time is it how long am I looking at that spot for kind of thing so you're sort of dazed out and you're, you're doing stuff where you're watching TV and somebody goes like watching TV you can be hypnotized in a sense where you're so into the TV show someone goes hey hand me that pen you hand me the you hand him the pen or, or your phone or whatever at the end of the show you're looking on going Where's my phone? You don't remember doing it. You just in such you, you're such in, in in a different relaxed state of mind or focused on something else that you don't have any recollection. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And uh, do you ever try to really push the line, taking advantage of people's subconsciousness? <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell me, what's the funniest response you have ever seen from either a particular person or a particular year, a particular group? That is a loaded question. You know what? I don't know. The easy way to describe it is if you could think of something that you would otherwise hate to have experienced or like to have experienced on a hypnotism, we've probably done it. Like, uh, you know, we've had people come up like, you know, here's this, for example, uh, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make them think that they're stoned and uh, when I touch my forehead, they're... Uh, their penis or their vaginas will start talking to them and then you know I'll come on oh what did she say it's just don't worry we'll put some cream on that you know so you know you never know right what comes out or the young woman no dicks allowed well they don't know they do now 
Kind of, so you never know what's going to come out of their uh, their. Out of their heads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You Sometimes pretty questionable things. Yeah, but it's, it, yeah, they're pretty funny though. Uh, or, uh, yeah. You know, we. Uh, I'm just ra rambling through my my head, or I'll, I'll make somebody. Uh, call. I make a guy call his buddy that's sitting at home has no idea that he's on stage. He's hypnotized, and he's got to phone his buddy up because he put a gerbil in his ass, but he lost a string, and he's calling his buddy to you know to to talk him, coach him through how to get the gerbil out of his ass, right? So little things like that. It's funny. Uh, uh, the the actual, or we make a guy moon the audience. And I remember one time the guy mooned the audience. Little piece of toilet paper, whoo! Little piece of toilet paper went <laughs> flying out of his bum. It's like people people look in the audience going. Oh, like what's he gonna do? A little piece of toilet paper just flew out of this guy's ass. So I picked it up, and then I made everybody on stage believe it was the most valuable thing they'd ever seen. And everybody's got to say, "What are you gonna give me for it?" So at the end of the day, I give it to somebody. They put it in their pocket and they take it home. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. Um, well, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do tonight, and uh, hopefully we get a little piece of toilet paper floating around the audience as well. Tony Lee, thank you so much for uh, talking to us. No problem. Super excited. Maybe one day I'll hypnotize you. Yeah.